Global water consumption has increased almost fourfold in the past 100 years, and many regions can only meet their water demand thanks to essential contributions from mountain regions. In 30 years, almost a quarter of the world's lowland population will strongly depend on runoff from the mountains. Summer Hill School was regarded with considerable suspicion by the educational establishment. Lessons were optional for pupils at the school, and the government of the school was carried out by a school council, of which all the pupils and staff were members, with everyone having equal voting rights. The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. Quite obviously, a significant rise in the number of people in a given area or country will affect the demand for a whole host of goods and services. Note that a change in the structure of the population will increase the demand for some goods, but reduce the demand for others. A level of competence in chemistry is essential to the professional practice of material conservation. An understanding of scientific concepts and a basic scientific vocabulary enables the conservator to understand conservation problems, treatments, material techniques in a systematic and quantifiable way, which can be communicated not only to colleagues in the profession, but also those from other disciplines. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue, which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action. The life of a hunter-gatherer is indeed, as Thomas Hobby said of the state of nature, solitary, 
poor, nasty, brutish, and short. In some respects, to be sure, wandering through the jungle bagging monkeys may be preferable to the hard slog of subsistence agriculture. The assembly also decided that, at that special session, it would adopt a concise and action-oriented political declaration, agreed upon in advance by consensus through intergovernmental negotiations under the auspices of the conference. Aquaculture, also known as aquafarming, is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish, crustaceans, mollusks and aquatic plants. Aquaculture involves cultivating freshwater and saltwater populations under controlled conditions. The core of the problem was the immense disparity between the country's productive capacity and the ability of people to consume. Great innovations in productive techniques during and after the war raised the output of industry beyond the purchasing capacity of U.S. farmers and wage earners. Although it hails from a remote region of the western Himalayas, this plant now looks entirely at home on the banks of English rivers and colonized river banks and damp woodlands. In the Himalayas the plant is held in check by various pests, but take these away and it grows and reproduces unhindered. At a time when stress levels are soaring, rates of depression are increasing and the gap between rich and poor is ever widening, we believe that giving can play a positive role in helping people to feel connected to those around them and generate a sense of purpose and hope. When we give, we feel valued, useful and happy. Three hundred and eighty years after his death, William Shakespeare remains the central author of the English-speaking world. He is the most quoted poet and the most regularly produced playwright, and now among the most popular screenwriters as well. Why is that? And who is he?
The course considers the ways in which thinkers have responded to the particular political problems of their day and the ways in which they contribute to a broader conversation about human goods and needs, justice, democracy, and the proper relationship of the individual to the state. Within this free course, you will be introduced briefly to the discipline of child psychology and to theories and approaches that have been developed to help us understand and support children's lives by focusing on the individual children. Psychologists can assess changes in their child's abilities over time, including their physical, cognitive, social, and emotional development. The networks of roots that plants use to absorb water and nutrients can encompass a space larger than the part of the plant visible above ground. The nature of these root systems can help plants adapt to challenging environments such as deserts. An innovative new product or service can give a firm a head start over its rivals, which can be difficult for a new entrant to overcome. If the new technology is also patented, then other firms cannot simply copy its design. It is legally protected. The bill calls for the establishment of the National Landslide Hazards Reduction Program within one year of becoming law. The program serves numerous functions, including to identify and understand landslide hazards and risks, reduce losses from landslides, protect communities at risk of landslides hazards, Introvert, or those of us with introverted tendencies, tends to recharge by spending time alone. They lose energy from being around people for long periods of time, particularly large crowds. Extroverts, on the other hand, gain energy from other people. Extroverts find their energy is sapped when they spend too much time alone. They recharge by being social. One desirable form of interactivity 
from a consumer perspective is the implementation of sophisticated tools to assist shoppers in their purchase decisions by customizing the electronic shopping environment to their individual preferences.